Hey, Shalom Akim. Shalom, Shalom. 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 All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. Double honors to apostles, elders, and all you brothers out there that's pushing the name of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, and our truth and sincerity. And yeah, through the spirit, you know, things are getting rougher. We're getting closer to the end. And prophecies are being fulfilled. And we know Satan's going to come down at every angle. Not just with Esau and his new world order, which is a big part of the prophecies. Because right. before things get better, it's going to get worse. That's right. But the spiritual Satan is going to come and test brother's faith. You know? So our what scriptures say, um, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, what's that, Isaiah 48 and 6? Or uh, I say, or what's, what's that? I, um, Isaiah, what's that? Thirty-three and eighteen. It says, "Knowledge, wisdom, understanding shall be the stability at times. Time. It's talking about the scriptures, man, because this is our power source. This is our strength. You know, that's why the Lord sent out His prophets. I tell you, Jeremiah three and fifteen, that I should send you um, pastors according to my heart that shall feed you. What, what, what are we feeding? The scriptures say, Proverbs ten and twenty-one said, "The lips of the righteous feed many." Feeding what? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Lord. The thing that's going to happen. The, the the perils and what's to watch for. The traps and the wiles of the devil. You know, we're fighting spirits, demons. Spiritually, scripture said we're fighting um, principalities and, and wickedness. Spiritual wickedness in high places. In high places, man. That's right. You know, these demons are being pushed out here. You know, this is Satan's world to the utmost. From your TV, from your radio, from, your, from just... Being around these people of pure Satanists, the thoughts, and the thing that's going to combat that is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shemel Yep, I'll read it, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Ooh. Right. Notice it didn't say the love of the Lord, it said the fear of the Lord that's is right. his treasure. Right. See, because the, the most high, bottom line, he wants fear. You know, people say, I love the Lord. If loving the Lord is wrong, I don't want to be right. Well, you wrong. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. And how do you, and how do you show fear? By like right now, you know, we're living in Babylon, the great. We're living in hell. We're living in Satan's realm. So what we do is we we try to do the Lord's law, statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. Because remember, we're not going to be saved by keeping all the laws. All right, you know what, 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 what did the Lord say? You break one law, you broke them all. That's right. So we, we, we're trying our best to keep the laws to the best of our ability, and have trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, knowing this word, this word, who's the word in this Bible? That's Yahweh Shai Himself. That's what John the first chapter, and um, knowing the words and studying and trusting in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's words is what's going to stabilize us when all this hell breaks loose. That's right. All right. And as the brother said, the hell's going to come in every different direction. And what's going to keep us stabilized, like, like I'm going to use the analogy of an airplane. You might be in a jet plane and you hit that them bumps and lumps, right? What stabilizes it? Those The wing, the rudder, you know? They stabilized it. So the times we're coming into right now are like air pocket times, man. And it's going to be rough as all hell. Yeah. But what's going to keep the men of the Lord stabilized is the words of Yahweh by Shimei Yahushua. That's life. right. Hey, this is Isaiah 46 and 8. It says, remember this and show yourselves men. And show yourselves men. We're men. That's another thing too, man. Us in this truth, we're men. We're not little boys. We're not bitches. We're men. That's right. Yeah, the, the Heavenly Father, that's one of the things he requires of us. Is it, one of the things that he requires of us is to show ourselves as men. Come on. All right. That goes through, what's that? First Timothy 2 and 15. Endure and harness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. It's going right. to be hard. It's going to get rough. And guess what? It's going to get rougher. That's, That's right. right. So, yeah. so this little ear pocket that we're going through now, so what's going to happen when the big ear pocket comes? Yeah. That's why, and then again, it's not about how strong you think you are or you're, it's about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because that's our strength, is Yahweh Shai, man. Good. It says, remember this, and show yourselves men, bringing again to mind, O ye transgressors. Yeah, bring it. Yeah. Because Israel as a whole, we went off, but now the Lord is bringing back who? His elect. The first fruits. And we got to, he's bringing us back to remembrance of what? His words. That's right. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Trusting in our, who our power is, who we are. All right. Read that part again. Yep. It says, remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Right. Come back, meaning come back to remembrance of what? Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his word. 
That's right. Because for a long period of time, we were without Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And we didn't acknowledge our iniquities either. And we, and, and, yeah, brother, you know, know what I'm saying? So I got a, a quick scripture to go with what, what you're talking about. More than that, too. Yep. Jeremiah 14 and 20. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against thee. Right. Yeah. And you know who the only ones who are saying that now? The elect. Because our people as a whole, they're not saying that. Because first of all, they don't know who they are. <laughs> and they don't know that who their power is. That's they right. think the so-called white man is their God. Most of you Negroes and Latinos, Native Americans, you think your woman is your God. Yeah. All right? That's talking about as own, that scripture right there, own, as, as well as all the scriptures, it pertains first and foremost with the elect, man. That's right. Read that part again. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 20. We acknowledge our power, our wickedness, and the iniquity of our fathers. For we have sinned against thee. Right, that's what we and, and we, we that's us. We acknowledge. That's why we come back to the, we're coming back into the foe. Cut. The elect. Cause what what first of all, when you first come into this thing, you acknowledge that wait, first of all, you know you're an Israelite. Then you understand why we're in the predicament that we're in. Because we turned our as a nation, we turned our backs to the Heavenly Father. That's right, man. All right? But now we we acknowledge that. And you know that's a fulfilling of mm -hmm. Hosea, the fifth chapter, going into the sixth chapter, where the Lord says He'll turn His back until we acknowledge our sins. That's what separates the elect from two thirds, the humility, because we acknowledge our sins. Two thirds of Israel out here act like they do no wrong. So get ye the holy one behind me. Teach us smooth things. Let us party bullshit. You know, get high, money, hoes, and clothes. That's all a nigga knows. This bullsh, this cesspool of wickedness, they think this is it, all it is. We was put here on this earth, as I tell you in Revelation, I believe the fifth chapter, it said we was made for the Lord's pleasure. We was uh, here to glorify his name and to praise him. That was the whole duty of man. I tell you that in Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It said this is, after Solomon said he gave his mind over to folly, madness, from Ecclesiastes, the first chapter or whatever, until the last, when he went to every scenario, he said this is the conclusion. To fear the most high and keep his commandments. So this is the whole duty of man. <laughs> yep. I got another scripture for you. Jeremiah 3 and 13. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. And, and that's what the Yahweh Shai pushed in the disciples. What they said, repent, ye, repent for the kingdom of heaven is thy hand. Now when you look up the word repent, it means, re means back, and pent come from the Latin penta means to be sorrowful. How you repent? Acknowledge that you broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High and beg the Lord for forgiveness and try to keep them to the best of your ability. And one of the main things that's in the law of the Most High is Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, where it says, um, a, 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 a leader shall ar arise out of thy kinsmen, out of thy brethren. Hear ye him, Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what the word Christian means, the chosen anointed to follow Yahweh Shai. His whole thing he was doing was glorifying the Heavenly Father. And that's what we're doing. We glorify the Heavenly Father and His Son because John the fifth chapter said, um, honor the Son as thou honor the Father. And he remember, he said he purchased us and brought us back with his right hand. He redeemed us. When you look up the word redeem, it means to buy back. How did he buy us back? Through his blood and shedding of his blood on that cross. That's why I tell you in Acts the fifth chapter that... Um, um, that he shed his blood for the remissions of sins for the children of Israel and only the children of Israel. And we, through the Spirit of the Lord, we bring that out. During the Israelite foreigners, because we got certain <clears throat> war babies or different parts of regions of the world where Israelite men slept with heathen women and some of our people look like the heathen, They got some of them are part of the elect that's going to come back to the fold. That's right. That's right. Well, you know what? A good majority of them, because when you go to Revelations, the seventh chapter, there's 12,000 of each tribe and then the great multitude, John didn't recognize them. Right. Why? Because they look like all the they look like the heathens where they were scattered. So and and that great multitude was more than one hundred and forty four thousand. That's right. So the majority that's going to make it out of here technically is going to be Israelites that don't look like Israelite typical Israelites. That's going to be the majority that makes it. That's a, that's a major stumbling block to the majority of you guys who call yourselves Israelites out that's there. That's right. And how do we know this? You get offended when we push this. And all we're doing is pushing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That you're going to have our people are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. What the hell does that mean? 
You know, I got a I got a scripture for you since you you said that, right? Yeah. Isaiah sixty one and nine, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. Right, amongst the Gentiles. The word Gentiles means what? The nations. Our people are amongst all the nations on the planet Earth. And even if they look like those heathens, where they, whatever heathen they live amongst, even though they live amongst them, that spirit of the spirit of Israel is on them. That's right. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is on them, which separates us from the other nations. All right? They might not understand why is it so, but that's what it is. That, and that's why you see brothers from other countries coming in. <laughs> I guess right. the Lord, the Lord is waking them up. Like, wait, oh, that makes sense. Yo, the Lord is waking them up. I got a preacher for you. Come this on. is Titus 1 and 15. It says, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and the unbelieving is nothing pure. That's but right. even their mind and conscience is defiled. That's right. That's right. That's why they can't get it. You have to be of a pure mind. That's right. That's why I say, bring, it was in the book of Jude, bring you, you back to remembrance, though you once knew this. <coughs> right. right. Though you once knew this. Yeah, right. you got to be a pure mind. Because if you don't get certain, something like the, the, Israelite foreign, the Israelite foreigner issue, if you can't grasp it, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. You know, say this knowledge is not one side, a one sided thing. Like, you, you you come into the you call yourself coming into the truth because you hate faggots and that's just about it, or you just hate the so called white man and that's that's where it is. This thing is broad, man. Okay. Not this knowledge. The knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is infinite, man. But the Lord tell Ezekiel eat the whole roll. He tell it. Say, no, 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 not a piece. <laughs> yep, yeah, I hate faggots role. and I don't believe in women ruling over men and the white man. That's 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 that's, 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 that's it. But those specs they ain't Israelites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them, 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 them Native Americans, they no Israelite. Yeah, them all. They, 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 they go off the so-called white man's bullshit. Talking about they some fucking Asians. Asian, yeah. Like the, like the so-called Chinese in them. And oh, even if they bullshit. were living, let, let, let's say, let, let's say for for argument's sake, let's say they were living amongst them gooks. They're not gooks. Israel right. was scattered, assholes. That's right. Yeah. And when you go through the ancient artifacts, they got a lot of Hebrew reading. Reading, they speak broken Hebrew. Yeah. They, 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 their characteristics, even from the fringes and all that, goes back to our culture and our law. Yeah. So you know, it's, it's little things like that. You know, for, it doesn't take much for us to believe it because we know the scriptures. That's right. You know, but cats like that, they're always gonna try to find and um, yeah. impact every so little thing they to try to. And they don't realize they're, they're reprobates, man. No, what the Lord told Paul, why you kick up against the pricks? Yeah, they yeah, why you kick yeah. against the pricks? You hurting yourself. They even have relics in the Smithsonian Institute that they buried, like the Bat Creek Stone. And when they took a photograph of the Bat Creek Stone, they photographed it upside down. But when you look on the stone, what's on there is Paleo Hebrew, mm -hmm. <laughs> what you call Paleo Hebrew. Not the Assyrian form, Paleo Hebrew. Yeah. And I believe it says uh, for the land of Judah on it. And that was in um, Indian country. Yep. And the um, Smithsonian Institute buried that in their basement. They buried that stuff in their basement. And why do you think when they sent Christopher Cologne, they sent Hebrew interpreters? They knew that the Hebrew Israelites was over here that that um, tried to come over here and keep, do the right thing according to the book of Ezra. Right. Yeah, it was documented. Yeah. Because Cologne is mentioned And even in, in the movie. Yep. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, what about this? He said, what about Esdras? Well, Colum uh, Christopher Columbus knew about Esdras. He knew that the tribes is over here on this side of the world anyway. That whole uh, bullshit about trying to go get spices from India, that's all bullshit. Okay, he was coming up over here to basically enslave the tribes that was over here on this side of the world. Take their gold. That's what he came over here for. He came over here looking for, uh, for gold. He's looking for that precious metal. And yeah, remember in our history, we all come from royalty. That's why the Lord said Jeremiah, I have um, planted a, a, a noble, a royal, noble vine, or a holy and noble vine. How's that? How, how has that become a degenerate? Right. Yeah. And all people, Israel is yeah. noble. No. Nope. I'm sorry, brother. No, I'm just saying. Issachar had them giant gold plates. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, they they knew riches over here. What's 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 the so? And they were all so called Jews. That whole Jesuit. And the whole um, frontier, them uh, Spanish conquerors and all that, those were so, ran uh, authorized by the so-called Jews. They probably had some Negroes or whatever that sold out as part of their army and all that other shit. But those were Amalek pushing that. And what's the thing that binds them and pushed them? Gold. Yep. They have a saying, um, God, 
uh, money is is the god, and Rothschilds are their prophets. And then there's um, <laughs> yeah. when during and that was during the uh, Spanish Inquisition, uh, um, August. Uh, I forget the exact day, but it was August 1492, and um, when Columbus sailed out to come over to here from the New World, because the Spanish Inquisition that was taking place in Spain at that time was uh, taking all the property that them so-called Jews had taking their gold and all that. So really, Columbus was really looking for a, a, a land for them so-called Jews to come to because they were being expelled from Spain at that time. That's what the Spanish Inquisition was all about. Really, he was looking for another landing place for them so-called Jews. Do you know it's heavy? The so-called the, the so Catholic priests and all them are what they call crypto Jews. Mm -hmm. they, they, like Hitler was so-called killing Jews. He was a, a um, Jew, Adolf Schecker Gruber. Yep. So you have, that's why the Lord says Satan be divided against Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? They always had so-called <clears throat> Jews that came up against other so-called Jews. That's right. That's why the, the priest or the, the the cardinal and the, the pope and all that, they wear what? It's a yarmulke. number of yarmulke. Yep. It's a sun disc. Yeah. It represents sun worship. That's what right. goes back into sun worship. Even your baseball cap. If you look at a, a baseball cap, at the top of it, it has the, the, the dot and then the sun rays that goes off on the side of it. Yeah. Right. Same thing built like a fucking yarmulke. You know it, but yeah. that's just a tidbit. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. See? Show, show the inside. Show it, yep. See, Turn look it at it. Turn it around. Turn it around to show it. Oh, well, he's on the yeah, outside. Yeah, you see it on the outside. That's yeah. the sun coming down and the rays coming. That's yep. the same thing. Only thing, a uh, uh, yarmulke, it doesn't have the brim. It's just right. a, a sun disc. Right. You know? Yeah, it's a lot of history. <laughs> And now, just about speaking about Christopher Cologne, when he went to the islands, they went down there and they killed a whole lot of Israelites. Those natives, which a lot of you so-called Israelite groups don't believe they're Israel. Those are the Israelites, man. That's right. right. Those man. are Israelites. And the Lord allowed and the Lord allowed the Esau to come there and basically wipe us out and put us in subjection yeah, because so of our wickedness. You 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 so-called niggas that uh um, first of all you don't you don't acknowledge. You don't acknowledge the, uh, the the Indians that were here in the islands and in the Americas as as being Israelites, and then um, you got a problem with uh, with the Lord being here two thousand years ago. According to you, it never happened. Well, you, you never happened, mm -hmm. you damn <laughs> jackasses. You never happened. How's that? You got oh oh no the uh, the, the Lord didn't come two thousand years ago. So you think he gonna come right now and go through all that, go through that shit again? You're, you're lost of be, of shit. being put in, being put on the cross by the Romans. Uh, 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 case in point, the Roman Empire ain't ruling right now. Now, spiritually, America is the Roman Empire That's reincarnated, right. but this is America, not the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. This is an off leg or, or offshoot of the Roman Empire. So you mean to tell me the the Lord gonna be hung on the cross? He already went through that two thousand years ago. So you you guys are two thousand years too damn late. Well, yeah. that's why you know the prophecy Isaiah the forty seventh yeah. chapter. The Lord says, "You shall not meet thee as a man." That's yeah. right. So when the Lord come back, He's coming back in the chariots. Yeah. Now he's heavy. Uh, Apostle Tahar did a few videos. I see certain brothers what you had this big chariot that's they say how many miles long or whatever. There's gonna be more chariot sightings as we yeah. get closer. The Lord's gonna as they as Satan's coming in as the scripture says a flood trying to flood in and bring in the new world order. The Lord's also gonna be. He's going to be glorified. He said he's going to come in. When they come in as a flood, he's going to lift up a, 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 a standard, a, a standard against, them. against them. You know? The part of that standard is just truth and the chariots because of those are what? The Lord's army. That's why Daniel's the 12th chapter where the Lord said Michael shall stand up for his people. Yeah. I got scripture here. <clears throat> going back to, you know, how the Lord destroyed us over there like when, during the time of Christopher Cologne. And those are the Israelites, and these things are all prophesied, man, that these things are going to go down. That's right. All right. This is uh, this is one scripture, Amos 5 and 1. Hear ye this word, which I take up against you, even a lamentation, O house of Israel. And a lamentation means what? A time of mourning. Mourning. Or That's sadness. Right. Time of crying. All right? A time of pulling your hair, your hair out of your head because you're because you're lamenting. It says, O house of Israel, the virgin of Israel is falling. She shall no more rise. She is forsaken upon her land. And it happened going back thousands of years ago in the actual land of Israel. That's and it right. happened again during the time of the um 14th, what's that, the, 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 the 14th century. Yep. 
the 15th century, the 16th century, 17th century, all the way till to now. That's right. There is there is none to rise her rise her up, and the only one that, again that links up with our Genesis about Judah who shall rouse him up. The heavenly Father is going to rouse us up, starting with the elect. All right, and we're being risen up right now before your faces. That's why they're taking down our YouTube channels, my yep. channel in particular. Y'all brothers know I used to do them live shows. I can't even do a live show now. They they suspended me, but it's all right. That's the word right. is still yeah. the word is still going to get out there. All it's right. out there already. It, it's, it's out there. Yeah. Keep more, on pushing. More yeah. than what we ever, ever believed. But it's all right. We do what we, our part. That's right. Yep. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the city that went out by a thousand shall leave an hundred. Look at the history of um, Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. How many thousands of men and women were there before the, these crackers got there? Thousands upon thousands. And it was documented they cut them down to what, 500 men? Yeah, slaughter. Slaughter by slaughter. All right. So it says, "For thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the city that went out by a thousand shall leave an hundred, and that which went forth by an hundred shall leave ten to the house of Israel." And that goes back to the curses in Deuteronomy. That's right. How the Lord said, "We shall go after our enemies one way, and scattered how many ways." That's right. All right. That's all prophecy, man. Here but the, see, the good news is the gospel of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is we're at the end of all of this shit now, That's man. Right. Yeah. yeah, we're going through stumbling and bumbling. You know, Satan going to throw darts and fuck with brothers' minds. Over. But you know what? At the end of the day, the ones of us that stay that stay standing stiff for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our time to shine is very close. Very close. This so-called white man, this Esau and his America... And his rulership, the so-called white man's rulership on the world, we're at the end time. We're at the um, the dust time of that shit. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, right. We're, we're at the time where the, the sun is going down, and the birds are chirping, getting ready to go up in the trees to go to sleep. Yeah, the sun's going down. All right, like Esau's kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. sun's going down on your ass. Hey, that's why it was it. Elton John had a song, "Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me." And Elton John's a faggot. Yeah. Because yep. you know, they don't want that to go down. Yeah, he's speaking yeah, in witch land. Yeah. yeah, because they know once the Lord comes back, all this shit is a wrap. That's Remember right. the demons used to say when Yahweh Shai was doing his ministry, it's not, it, it, uh, uh, oh, it's son not of man, it's not our time. It's not your time. They still had time to run run rampant, the spirits, some evil spirits. And America is nothing, uh, the whole world right now is nothing but a cesspool of evil spirits. Brother, and, and if, you don't, if you can't see that, man, you are, you are a blind fucking bat. Cause you got guys that want this place to keep going. Yeah, see. And the main reason why they come against us, I'm a, yeah, the brothers that call themselves G, that GMS, all right. Why, why, are, why are all these scoffers and all these people, these wicked ass motherfuckers, coming against us? Cause the bottom line is, they don't want what we're saying through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're hoping that's not true. That's right. They want yeah. this devil to keep working, to that's keep right. doing this shit, and it's getting worse by the minute. But hey, well, what what, what lies in uh, this world? Organ uh, harvesting, right? Drug dealing, prostitution, child molestation, you homosexuality. know, homosexuality, homosexuality, bestiality, murders, murder, you know, murder, vicious murder. Wait, the scripture says the love of many shall wax cold. That's, That's right. right. Tell yeah. me, tell me, not we're not living in that time now. Look at my man Junior last week. What's his name? Junior, whatever the fuck his name yeah, is. Yeah, which in is the an Israelite, the tribe yeah. of Simeon. Simeon, and yep. other, it was other Simeonite dudes that went in there and, and shook him up, juked him up. Yeah, man, they tore him up. I mean, brother, I, I, hey, I, it was I, mistaken identity. Yeah, and even if it wasn't mistaken, that shit was that's some wicked shit. Yeah, over, just, over a bitch. Yeah, that was being a whore. A whore, and they sit. That goes back into another philosophy that Queen of Heaven. Worshiping or trying to watch for a woman's honor. She has some honor. She wouldn't be in fucking wherever she was at by herself. Because the Lord said you're supposed to have a hedge around your daughter. If not, she'll open her legs to every quiver or arrow that walked Brother, by. She, filmed, she willingly filmed herself yeah, she did fucked. it. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. disgusting. They're horrible people. And they're all but porn Esau, stars. Under Esau's, a bunch of fucking hoes. Under yeah. Esau's witchcraft, oh, they can, that's why they got this hashtag me too shit. Whatever a bitch say is automatically right. She, yeah. she, she, she will never lie. The man is the bad guy. The men... The men, they're horrible. Men are horrible species, and if if if, if the women, if women had total power on the earth, the earth would be righteous. Where the hell bullshit. you get that from? Yeah, where you get bullshit. that bullshit from? That's wicked. Bullshit. That's yep. called wickedness, man. Right. And the heavenly Father's getting ready to destroy all that shit. That's right. That philosophy. Man. That philosophy is about to be flushed down the toilet forever. That's right. That's right. Man.
So that's so yes, that, that so that's the gospel, man. That's the good news. We're at the end of all this shit, man. Yeah, I got a scripture. Bring it, bring this it. is Isaiah 41 and 2. It says, Comfort, comfort ye, my people, saith your power. How are we comfort? How are yep. we being comforted? By the word. By the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We ain't being comforted by um snuggling up with our bitches. It's about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his word. So we're yep. being comforted, and his comfort's our spirit, man. It Lord. says, Speak ye comfortably. To Jerusalem, right, and, we're, and, and who's Jerusalem? It's a people before it's a place. It's Israel. That's right. Mainly the elect, because the majority of our people they're not hearing this. As a matter of fact, they hate us, boy. Yeah. Oh, they hate us. We open up the camp yeah, um, Saturday when we open up our art camp over there. When we speak at, you had a, a, two, a Latino old guy sitting right there and a lady, and we were setting up. We didn't read nothing yet. We didn't even put our garments on yet. But they, through the spirit, they knew who we were. Mm -hmm. So the dude was like looking at us. This is an old guy. So I, I, I kind of like, hey, what's up? I like waved to him, like, hey, what's up? The dude looked at me with disgust and turned his face away. Yeah, he can... I mean, that, that hatred they have. And that's Satan, man. Well, what... You people got Satan on you, man. What well, yeah, should I say? John 7 and 7 is not you, it's not you that they hate it, but you... me because that's I testified right. their works are they're of our evil. That's right. You, you hate know, your Howard Shai. Yeah, but that same guy probably was screwing his daughter before she got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know that that's the sick culture or the sick philosophies that our people have took on. But we're the but we're the but we're the dirty sick ones. Yeah, not them. Go ahead. Yep, it says speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. So it's talking about the elect, because the ones that's going to hear us and and are and that are going to be comforted by hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are the elect, no one else. Yep, it says cry unto her. Are we crying unto you? How we cry by teaching and and and, and, and teaching the way the manner that we teaching, crying aloud, spare not. If you get offended by how loud we speak, you're not right. You're a demon. That's right. You're a faggot. Go on. It says that her warfare is accomplished. The warfare is accomplished. We're at the end of this shit, man. All the hell we went through. What, you think we're going to go, we're go into slavery? Like, for example, um, Esau got that Georgia Guystone shit right. yeah. about minimizing the earth. And you know what that means? Um, killing all the so-called blacks and Latinos and shit and put people back in slavery again. Brother, after this last slavery we we're going through from... from um, the slave ship times till now. This is the last captivity. Yes. Yeah, After this, we're going to be ruling forever. Hey, anyway, well, links up. This links up with Lamentations four. What's that? Twenty or twenty one? That it says, is accomplished. Yep. That yep. warfare is accomplished. That cup is going to pass to Edom. Yeah. The, yeah who's can, Edom? The so-called white man. All the curses that we're under, the Lord is going to pour them curses on them. That show you that the heathen right. can't be saved. It tell you that in Deuteronomy thirty and seven that all the curses are going to pass on to the heathen and all our enemies. That's right. It says, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. That's what we're doing. And they hate us for that. We're telling you you're going to rule. Ah, y'all for the hate, though, y'all. Yeah, see, the hate. We, we ain't worrying about a, a, See, you people, we ain't worrying about you. Our only thing is to teach the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and wake up the hopeful elect. And once they're sealed, the end comes. Hey, we, yep. we don't care about the rest of you you monkeys out there. That's right, man. And what Yahweh Shai say, you err for not knowing the scriptures. Because the scripture says, Psalms 97 and 10, ye that fear the Lord hate evil. This whole world is evil. And we hate it. These whores out here gang getting gang bang and then lying on a cat to get fucking chopped up like damn near a lamb. And he ain't, during he, the yeah, and he ain't the only one. There's many of you people, you Negroes, Latinos have died Over. in the behest of a chick. That's or what right. a chick said, yeah, that nigga said this about me. Go, go, go see him. Yeah, my brother gonna shoot you up because you don't want to date me. And the one yeah. of you niggas that go in and, 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 and play Captain Saber Ho, yeah. you become the casualties too. That's right. Y'all go in there and try to call yourself bad man and you get killed. And then after you're dead, she might cry for you. The little, little fake cries. Then she go suck another dick tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. All right. It's just, yep. It's that's the thing you got to realize with these fucking whores. Oh, yeah. You you die or he died, but this bitch is still alive to go jump up and down another man's pole. What the, what the hell is wrong with you? You. But you know, but we know we know what was wrong with them. We know. See, we know what was wrong with you niggas. You you and you spicks and all the rest of you. You you're faggots. Well, that's what the Lord said, Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Right. And the Lord ain't, and, the, and, 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 and above all, the Lord is not dealing with you. That's right. Yeah. And that's, that's a scary thing. You know, now a man that's in the know, which are, which are the, the elect, they're not gonna fall for that madness, man. All right, because why? They're full of the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on how to conduct themselves in all cases, whether it's dealing with women or any anything dealing with conducting yourselves in in this hell that we're in right now, man. It's hey, and you know what's heavy? Scripture says the things written aforetime was for our learning, right? 
When you read this, this is all about for Israel. It said, comfort ye my people. My people is a possessive noun. That's right. only talking about the 12 tribes well, of Israel. That's not you, for everybody. You, you said, I'm going to read this real quick because I'm, I'm right mm -hmm. here in this chapter. Amos 3 and 1. Hear the word that the Lord has, spoke, has spoken against you, O children of Israel, right. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Ooh. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. Ooh. And they said the whole on, <laughs> what's the whole family? All twelve tribes. So that's why the Lord say in uh, what's that Isaiah the eleven chapter that Judah shall not vex Ephraim and uh, Ephraim shall not envy Judah. All that stuff is going to be wiped out. All twelve tribes are coming back together. That's why that sign is so important to have out there, uh, fulfilling the prophecy of Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter. You see all twelve tribes together. That's the kingdom of heaven. What's the kingdom of heaven? All 12 tribes worshiping the heavenly father and his son. No worshiping, no idols, no different philosophies, no schisms, none of that bullshit. And the Lord has taken that away. And it started with the it started with us, the brothers that came into the truth. That's right. Because amongst us, will you see all the tribes coming together in, har in harmony. Ultimately, all Israel is going to be righteous. But after, that ain't going to happen until after this place is destroyed. That's right. Here That's it goes. Right. Yep. It says, speak comfortably to Jerusalem, crying to her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she had received the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Right. And what does that mean, pardon? When you look up the word pardon, it comes from the Hebrew salakia. Salak mm -hmm. means forgive, uh, uh, to forgive and forget. Meaning we're not going to be, um, we're not going to pay for the sins of our iniquity. I tell you that in Micah, the seventh chapter, 18th all down. It said, who's a power like our power who parted our iniquities and cast our sins into the sea? God. Hey, the, brother, it's, yep. it's a lot. Okay, I mean, to cut the spirit. Um, we got like five minutes left. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. we've got about to 37. So, you know, just let you know. Go on. Yeah. So that was it. It said, who's a power like unto our power fulfilling the promise that he made through our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Good. That's right. So only one that's prophesied or promised to pardon or the forgiving the sins and the, the, the adoption the, and everything else, like I can tell you in Romans, the ninth chapter, is the children of Israel. There's the only one who's going to receive that olive branch as a, t a sign of a token of mercy. That's right. And it starts with the elect. Yeah, that was it on that. Yep. You know, hey, brother, it starts with the elect. So, again, brothers, you know, we're all, gonna, we're all going through stuff spiritually. And, hey, as the scripture says, our warfare is spiritual, man. It ain't carnal. That's right, man. You know, that's why anybody who go gets all fucked up over carnal shit, you're a fool. You're a goddamn fool, man. Yeah, man. It's our warfare is spiritual, and and you know, the scripture says Satan is a roaring lion. Matter of fact, we brought that out already. No, get that, I got uh, that. Satan is a roaring lion. Yeah, somebody could get that. You got that show. in Corinthians too. Corinthians the eighth hey, chapter. Yep, yeah. that's a good one. Cause hey, cause all this stuff that's happening, the scripture said, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding shall be the stability at times. Isaiah thirty three and six, but. The thing is that the knowledge and wisdom